Breast tissue can occur in locations other than what we normally think about. A good example of this is what's called aberrant breast tissue that can occur well up here in the armpit area, actually disconnected from the tail of the breast, or there can be an extension of the normal tissue of the tail of the breast well up into the armpit area. In embryology, we talk about what's called the milk duct line. It's a line that runs from here down through the breast into the upper abdomen. And in my career, I have seen nipple, accessory nipples and areolas up here in the armpit area, down here in the upper abdomen and places of this sort. So finding breast tissue in the armpit area is not that unusual at all. And as a matter of fact, one of the times that it can become very prominent uh, is during pregnancy. As the breast is being stimulated and growing, uh, this area can be quite uh, uh, prominent. In fact, this is exactly what happened in my daughter's situation in a previous video that I shared some time ago about the scare that I had that perhaps my daughter might have breast cancer. So the question then becomes, if we have breast tissue up here in the armpit area, what do we do about it? Well, if it's associated with an accessory nipple, then removing that accessory nipple and areola along with some of the underlying breast tissue can be helpful both functionally and cosmetically. Uh, also, if the tissue becomes prominent during pregnancy, then it's important for anyone that this is happening to, to see a competent breast surgeon who hopefully is working with breast radiologists. And one of the simplest tests that can be done is actually doing ultrasound of this area, confirming that it's breast tissue. Occasionally, even a core biopsy could be helpful in the evaluation of all of this. Now, okay, knowing the tissue is there, now what? Well, once the pregnancy is finished, usually the prominent tissue retracts down and is not a problem. Only occasionally, in my experience, is there so much pain or a lump associated there that we actually need to operate and take that tissue out. In my own practice, this happens perhaps once a year or so. So the bottom line is don't be alarmed. Obviously, if there's any new lump in the armpit area, make sure that it's worked up by a competent breast surgeon and radiologist. Yes, it's true that a breast cancer can present as an enlarged lymph node in the armpit area. So obviously, we want to know that and make sure that that's not what we're dealing with because that would require a whole different kind of workup. So again, the bottom line always is see competent people, work uh, with a center that's really familiar with breast cancer diagnostic uh, workups, any other kind of breast problem workups. If you do that, you'll feel good about it and occasionally you might need to have the tissue actually removed. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.